Good morning! Happy Monday, September 19th. This is going to be a work week vlog, so I'm excited just to take you guys with me through the week. Survivor starts on Wednesday. I have some Amazon packages coming the next couple of days, so it's going to be a good week. I'm very excited for it. I'm about to leave for work, and then after work today, I'm grabbing coffee with one of my coworkers, which this is a coworker I haven't hung out with outside of work hours, so I'm excited to like build that relationship. I think that will be really fun. Linky will Woke up very excited this morning, like always. And before I head out the door, I just wanna quickly state my gratitude and intention for the week. My intention for this week is to listen and learn. And my gratitude is that Survivor starts on Wednesday, obviously, like it's my favorite show of all time and it's about to be back on and I could not be more excited. I'm going to pick up some packages in the mail. Look how pretty the sunset is today. Of course the camera's not gonna do it justice at just how pink these clouds are. Like, gorgeous sunset. I'm excited, I ordered some new bed sheets and a projector, so I'm gonna try to get my room set up and show you guys what it looks like. Good morning, I am just finishing up, getting ready this morning, about to go to work. You guys, today is the premiere of Survivor season 43. I am so excited, Survivor is my favorite show and so the world will just feel right again once it comes back on. I just got home from work and after work, I went straight to Aldi with my sister because it's Wednesday so they put out all their new stuff and I wanna show you, I bought these like faux leather leggings that are just so cute. Hopefully I'll try them on and they will look cute and fit well, but I'm so excited. This is gonna be a fall staple for sure. <music> the roomies and I all have our survivor buffs on. Aqua winners at war. Purple 42. <laughs> I got my blue buff. Of course, we ordered some Chinese food to represent White Rice Wednesday. And <laughs> 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 it's kind of a tongue twister. No, it is because you don't say white rice. It wasn't yeah, bad. You don't, I so refuse. You started, like, giggling at yourself. But I refuse to say white rice. I had white rice. White rice. <laughs> 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 yeah, white rice, white rice. Um, and we had, of course, Chinese food for a white rice Wednesday. We just finished the premiere of Survivor. It was so good. So let's all give our winner picks. My winner pick is Sammy. Abs, who's your winner pick? My winner pick is James. He's from Philly. He's a chess genius. I think he's going to go all the way. Garrett, who's your winner pick? My winner pick is Cassidy. <laughs> working on editing this video right now and I want to quickly jump in and fully explain why I had to make an emergency trip to the eye doctor. Um, today is Monday. This happened last Thursday and so I'm just going to tell you exactly what happened. So I was at work and for those of you guys that don't know, I work as an RBT working with kids with autism, doing ABA therapy. I love my job. It is just the most fun and like I cannot explain to you how much of a perfect fit this job has been for me. Um, and I work with young kids around like two to five and I was playing with one of the kids and his hand, his elbow or something hit me in the eye and I was just like, oh man, you got me and kept playing and then I realized that I was seeing spots and it wasn't going away. And so after a couple of hours, I was like starting to kind of work myself up, feeling like my anxiety was just getting higher and higher. And I like literally felt like I was going to have a panic attack. I kept taking like deep breaths, trying to like just get like, your, the day's almost over, you'll figure it out, it's probably fine. And so I texted my mom, told her what was happening and she quickly got me into the eye doctor. So I left work, went straight to the eye doctor and they did an ultrasound of my eye, which I have never had that done before. It was kind of interesting. 
and um, looked at it and fortunately they said that always good that um, because of getting hit in the eye I have some inflammation and some floaters and even today now Monday I still see them and I believe that it could last for a couple weeks or months but that it eventually should go away which is very good news um, my eye pressures were good and overall um, he said that everything was like good and the tubes that I have in my eyes from previous surgeries like those were unaffected and so like there was no permanent damage always good we're in the clear and you know like always better safe than sorry so I was very very grateful that they got me in that day overall I'm considering myself very very lucky and I'm just gonna try to be more careful at work and we made it to Friday thank goodness here's to hoping today is a little less chaotic than yesterday hopefully no emergency trips to the eye doctor wouldn't that be nice I'm going to try to play it extra cautious today it's red Friday so of course I'm representing the Chiefs I'm um, excited to watch the game this weekend and you know Linky is here he's awake and excited this morning thank goodness it's Friday we are weekend ready unfortunately it is a very gloomy and rainy Friday hopefully this one will come out I'm home from work and I am just like beat I am so tired if you work with kids you know that like some days it just sucks the energy out of you and I had a great day it was a lot of running around a lot of playing a lot of fun but I just like I need to relax I need to recharge and then hopefully I will hit a second wind this evening I am slowly coming back to life and I was just reading a comment that was talking about how important it is for the visually impaired community to support one another and it just really had me thinking about the fact that for so long I really did feel so alone in my vision impairment and in that I also dealt with a lot of shame and guilt for really struggling to accept it and I felt like I would feel shame for feeling like I was just having a victim mindset about things and that I just needed to accept it, especially because I'm coming up on it being 18 years since I was first diagnosed with glaucoma. And so I have and still do struggle to accept my vision impairment, to accept my glaucoma diagnosis. And it's been almost 20 years. And I really internalized a lot of shame and guilt for having such a hard time with it. And seeing all of your guys' stories and experiences and having this channel has helped me feel so much less alone and helped me realize that as a human, it's okay for all of us to struggle with the fact that we have to experience life with a vision impairment in a society that doesn't make a lot of room for that and even though for our own sake choosing positivity and determination is important it is also just really hard and we are human and i'm realizing the similarity in all of our experiences and that it's hard and so instead of being hard on myself or sometimes feeling frustrated and angry and just so over my visual impairment I am learning to make space for it because those days are going to happen and I'm going to allow myself to have them because it also helps validate how hard this experience is. I forgot to close out the video so I'm going to do that right now. You guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you for coming along with me on what was this week. It was a little random, a little crazy, but I'm just so happy right now in life and I love being able to capture these memories the good and the bad I will make sure to keep you guys updated about how my eye is doing and the recovery and all of that but leave a comment start some conversation and I will see you guys in my next video